Hi everyone! Today I'm gonna show you how to make a sun hat with bow. Uh, I made this one for myself and I shared a photo uh, on Instagram and everyone likes it very much and asked for a, a tutorial. So now I'm making it. Uh, in this video I'm gonna show you and this one is so similar. I explain all the things uh, all the difference in the video uh, I give all the measurements too it's an easy pattern don't worry about it um, and for this one and this one I use four millimeter hook I use paper yarn you can find it on Etsy or some local shops uh, with the name of paper yarn or you can use raffia yarn, cotton yarns like I did here, uh, maybe some macrame yarns. Um, it's all uh, good for this hat. That's a little bigger than this one because I made this for my daughter. It's um, young size. Maybe I can try it. Yeah. Some adults with small hats can use this one too. I explain you how can you find the right measurements for this hat uh, in the beginning. This time I explain almost all the things in the beginning. <laughs> so, so you can make uh, all the arrangements easily and make it quickly. I think this will be my turn back video. I miss you all so much and we are fine. Uh, I just want to tell this. I'm so happy to be with you again. Uh, I almost forgot. I use this yarn. Alize Cotton Gold Plus is a versatile weight yarn. It's 55% cotton and 45% uh, acrylic. It's a um, thick yarn, soft but thick. It's like I shared this before, it's like velvet, such. And you're gonna need some stitch markers. It's so important. If you don't have this kind of stitch markers, you can use um, some safety pins or some different colored yarns. You can use anything you want. And I must tell one more thing. You see, it looks a little roughly here. It's not too much, but if you don't want this look, I made something here. We will make increases for this part. For this one, I made increases for all the rows. For each row, you're gonna increase. But for this one, I made, uh, I think, two rows without increases. Like, increase, increase, increase without increase. Increase, 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 without increase. And it looks uh, more like round shape than this one. You can choose the way you like. That's all. If you don't forget to subscribe to my channel, we can start now. Okay, mostly I like to um, explain how to make something while I'm making it. Uh, but this time uh, I will explain it first, then we are gonna make it. Because I know some of you are new for uh, this work, crocheting, and I don't want to confuse them. I just want to clear everything first, then uh, we are gonna make it easily. Uh, it could seem a little complicated how to um, calculate how many rows you have to make but when you learn it you can use it for uh, any uh, hat tutorial you want uh, it's really important uh, calculation uh, so I want to show you first uh, you must measure around your head around uh, the top of your head and 
Sorry, I, I want to show you just a second. I couldn't find a big uh, baby, so I'm gonna use this ones. Just measure around your head. And it's 16 centimeter for this baby. And almost 20 centimeters for this one. It could change. For me, it's 58. I have a really big head. Uh, now we will calculate here. Now we know the circumference. Uh, for example, it's 20 for this baby. Okay, we know the P is 3.14 uh, and we must find diameter. For example, 20 3.14 and D Divide it by 3.14. I'm gonna use calculator, of course. <laughs> um, it's 6.3. Uh, 6.5 for this baby. We're gonna make only 6.5 for this baby. Now I'm gonna calculate it for my head. It's 58 and I made this even bigger because I want to use it with a curly hair. I don't want to make it tight but it's a little uh, too loose. I think. Uh, don't forget, it's, it will loosen up a little bit. Three, fourteen. Okay. It's 18 plus 4. You can use 18 or 18 and a half centimeters. It's not too important. Uh, uh, you can calculate uh, it for your head uh, with this way. Okay. And uh, for this circle, we are going to make uh, increases for each row. Uh, for these increases, you will need a number uh, which is 6 for us. We are going to start with 6. For the next row, we will double it. For the next row, we will make a double, uh, sorry, a single crochet and increase. A single crochet and increase. Uh, so you can think like 12 plus 6 it's 18 for the next row 18 plus 6 is 24 each time we are gonna add 6 for this row for the fourth row we are gonna make two single crochets in a row then in increase for the next three single crochets in a row then increase we're gonna keep uh, doing this till we reach the number we need which is 18 for me we will see for this one i had 14 uh, single crochets done an increase for the last row then when you finish uh, your circle you're gonna stop increasing 
you're gonna just uh, keep your numbers and make single crochets without increases. For how many row? I made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 row. And seven, seven and a half centimeters almost three inch long and for here is a little more complicated not too much but we have, we have uh, this uh, bow so we are gonna make increases and we are gonna make a um, different part I don't know how to call it but we are gonna make it for almost eight centimeters three and a half inch i think no three a little more than three inch and 18 centimeters is seven inch and with this way you can make it any size you want just follow these calculations I made this 8 centimeters but if you are making this for children you can make it less uh, put it uh, on your head or on your children head uh, when it touch the ears it's okay you're gonna uh, start increasing and here this part just make here till you reach the ears and you can make here as big as you want it's up to you okay now we can start i'm gonna start with the magic ring but you can use two more different ways the easiest one make a slip knot chain three make this chain loose Insert from the first chain, join with a slip stitch, chain one and make your single crochets into this space here. One, two and keep going, make all of them into here. There will be a little hole with this way. Second way, make a slip knot, chain two, insert into this first chain and make your single crochet here. Two, three, make all six single crochets into this first chain okay the last way not the easiest but uh, cleanest <laughs> just wrap the yarn around your fingers hold it with your uh, finger wrap the yarn wrap it one more time and make a cross Hold it, insert your hook under the first one, grab the second, make a twist, grab the same yarn, make a chain, and that's the magic ring. Now I'm gonna work into this space. Insert, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through. That's a single crochet. Two, three, four, five, six. Now you can close this ring. I will not join with a slip stitch here. 
I will insert into this first stitch and directly make a single crochet. We will go spirally. Insert here and put this yarn on your hook too. We are going to hide this. Make a single crochet. That's my first single crochet. Uh, I'm going to use a stitch marker here. If I could open it. Into same stitch, make one more single crochet. Into the next, put two single crochets. One, two. Into the next, put two. I'm hiding this tail too. Next, put two. Two. And two. In the end of this row, you will have uh, 12 single crochets. Now, I will not tell uh, the stitch numbers for all the rows. Just add six as I show you before. And sorry for this helicopter noises. You know, uh, these fires keep going in Turkey. It's better now, but uh, especially the place where I live, um, it's uh, keep going. And I'm living in an airport, so. Um, Helicopter is always uh, coming here for the full. Now into this first stitch, make a single crochet, put a stitch marker here. Uh, into the next stitch, we will make two. Next, make one next make two make one make two one two One, two, one, and two. That's the end of the row three. For the next row, this time we will make a two single crochets in a row and one increases but if we start like one two single crochets in a row then make an increase uh, we will make the increases into the same stitch we will always uh, and if we keep doing this we will always make the increases into the same stitch and it will look like a hexagon more than a circle so I'm gonna start with a different way. I'm gonna put a single crochet here. Into the next stitch, put two. Starting from here, I'm gonna make two single crochets in a row, one, and two into the next two single crochets into same stitch one 
two, two single crochets in the same stitch. One, two, and increase. One, two, increase, one, two, and that's our last increase. If you remember, we only made one here, so we have one, we must have one more stitch, and it's here. Make a single crochet, and we finish the row four. For this row, we will make three single crochets in a row, then a, an increase. One, two, three, increase. One, two, three, increase. That's an easy row. Just keep repeating this. See you at the end of the row. I made three single crochets in a row and into this last stitch we're gonna put uh, two single crochets. For the next, we will uh, make four single crochets uh, and increase. We will not start with four single crochets, of course. This time we are gonna put one, two single crochets in a row, then increase. Make four single crochets, one, two, three, four, increase. Four single crochets. Increase. Keep repeating this here at the end. I made my last increase here and I still have two more stitches. Make one two single crochets. Let's end of the row. For the next row we will make five single crochets in a row and uh, an increase. One, two, three, four, five, increase. That's an easy row, just repeat this. I complete the row with uh, an increase. And for the next row we will make uh, six single crochets in a row and increase. Of course we are gonna start with three. One, two, three. An increase. Then make six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Increase. Just keep repeating this. See you at the end. I'm almost at the end and make the last increase and I have three stitches. One, two, three. For the next, we are gonna make seven single crochets and increase. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, increase, 
keep repeating this and time to time you can um, make hand ironing especially if you are using a paper yarn or raffia yarn you can you must fix it with your hands while you are working I'm calling this hand ironing uh, just make seven uh, single crochets in a row and then an increase see at the end I'm gonna put two into the last stitch and that's the end of the row next row we will make eight uh, single crochets in a row and increase we're gonna start with four one two three four increase and then make eight single crochets in a row increase uh, see you there I'm at the end of the row I made last increases and make one two three four for the next I'm gonna make nine two three four five nine increase complete the row for the row 12 we will make uh, 10 single crochets in a row then increase so we are gonna start with five one two three four five increase then make ten increase ten increase see you at the end I made the end again I made my last increase then put one two three four five and for this row we are gonna make 11 uh, single crochets in a row Two, three, four, five, nine, ten, eleven, and make two single crochets into the same stitch. Just repeat this. I complete with an increase, and now. I'm gonna make 12 uh, single crochets in a row then increase of course I will start with six one two three four five six increase then keep uh, going like 12 single crochets in a row and increase see you here I'm at the end again I'm gonna make one two three four five six I will make 13 and increase this could be my last row this time I'm gonna make it for my daughter uh, and I'm I try to reach uh, 16 because her circumference is uh, 53 uh, almost 53 one two three 
four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and put two in the same stitch. Uh, if you uh, have a loose hand, uh, you can reach your desired um, measurements uh, somewhere here. Uh, I'm gonna just finish this row and measure it one more time and see you. I complete the row and as you can see, it's almost 16. It's 15 and a half. I will make one more row. Uh, just measure your I'm gonna make one more row it will be better I think it will loosen up a little bit but not too much I'm gonna I need a uh, 16.3 blah 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 I will think it like 16 and a half centimeters so uh, for this row we will make 14 an increase I will start with seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Increase. Then make fourteen increase, fourteen increase. Uh, we will totally have six increases, and in that you will have seven more stitches just complete all of them see at that and, and this time it's 16 and a half six and a half inch long that's enough starting from here i will not make any increases for a few rows that's my first stitch this time i'm gonna put this stitch marker around the stitch and I will not uh, carry this one I will just leave it here and with this way I can um, count the rows without increases you don't have to uh, make it like me and I will just make single crochets I have 96 single crochets you could have more or less that's not important just put one single crochet into each stitch and you turn back here and make your uh, make the next rows first single crochets uh, just put a stitch marker there like we always did I'm gonna make a few rows and when I turn back I will give you the measurements again. I completed and made totally 14 rows. It's uh, almost 3 inches long and nearly 7 centimeters long. That's enough for me because, as I told you before, I'm making this for my daughter Piraye. That's enough. And now we will make this bow part here. For the bow, we will make some chains. For uh, this sample, I made totally 60 chains, but I think it's uh, too much. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna make lace chains. As you know, I have 96 uh, stitches totally, and it's multiples of 12. I'm gonna add 48 chains, and it's multiples of 12 again. Why we need multiples of 12? Because uh, we are gonna make increases 
uh, just like we did before we will make 11 single crochets and increase uh, if you finish with an even number row like i did uh, 14 single crochets and increase 12 single crochet and increase you will have multiples of 12 in the end if you finish with an odd number row uh, like 11 single crochets and an increase uh, you will have six more states you can calculate it like that in the end uh, when you make your 48 chains you can add six more chains and uh, you will have multiples of 12. if you don't want to calculate all these things you can just make your chains like fit the chains, complete your row with increases and if you have more stitches uh, in the end, um, you can just put some single crochets on them, don't mind them. Now I will make my chains, 48 chains. See you in the end. I complete my single crochets and into this first stitch I'm gonna make a single crochet sorry uh, by the way try not to twist these chains into the first stitch put a single crochet and put the stitch marker again this will be our first stitch from now on and uh, make totally 11 single crochets eleven into the next stitch put two single crochet we will repeat this 11 single crochet on the increase I see you when you reach here into this last stitch I put two single crochets now uh, we will make single crochet in this chains just turn your chains and use the back bumps because it will look better <laughs> with this way it's a little hard to insert into these back bumps uh, if you are a tight hand crocheter, uh, while you are making these chains, you can use a bigger hook. And if it's too hard for you, you don't have to uh, use this way. You can just insert the chain. It's not uh, a big deal. Uh, now I will make uh, 11 single crochets again. Then an increase, just keep repeating the same pattern, uh, see you uh, in the end or beginning. I will put two single crochets into this last chain, in the end you will totally have Four increases for this part two into the first stitch put a single crochet don't miss here and put the stitch marker into the same stitch and this row is an easy row I'm gonna put one single crochet into each stitch I will not make any increases just for this row. Make single crochets. And repeat the same thing for this uh, chain part two, bow part two only one single crochet into each stitch and see you at the end I finished this row too and for this row we will make 12 single crochets 
uh, an increase, uh, we will repeat the same thing we did before. We will start with six single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Make an increase. And starting from here, we're going to make 12, increase, 12, increase. Repeat the same thing for this part too. In the end, you will have six more steeds. Just put one single crochet. See you in the beginning. I finished the row again. And for this row, we will make 13 single crochet and increase. That's the first one. Two, three, four, twelve, thirteen, and increase. And starting from here, you're gonna just repeat the same pattern. For the next row, we will make 14 and increase, but we will divide this 14 while we are starting. We will make 7, then increase, then 14, increase, 14, increase. In the end, we will have 7 more. Uh, just put one single crochet into these 7 seats. I think I showed you how to make these increases uh, enough. And you can just keep repeating increases and make this part bigger as you like. Um, I plan to make it like six or seven uh, centimeters. That's not the final size. We will add uh, two more rows, I think. Uh, just make it as you like and I will see you in the end. I made it a little more than six centimeters six and a half centimeters long now just for one row i will make single crochets without increases Turn around the brim with single crochets. Uh, for the next row, we will make a long single crochets, spike stitch. You will not insert into this stitch here. Insert into this stitch, the first stitch from previous row. Third, grab the yarn, make a single crochet, insert next one, grab the yarn, single crochet. And we will repeat this. Just put one long single crochet into each stitch. Try not to um, make this loops twist. If you twist them, it looks bad. Okay. 
Just take your time and make it nicely. See at the end. I'm at the end. I have one last stitch. I will not insert here. I will insert here two rows below. Insert here. Grab the yarn. Don't complete this single crochet. Insert into the first stitch. Grab the yarn. Pull through. Pull through. Pull through. And insert into this next stitch. Grab the yarn. Make a slip stitch. Insert into the next. Make a slip stitch. Next. Slip stitch. That's the last row. We will make slip stitch around the head. And complete this row. I'll see you here. Make a slip knot. Chain six. Chain one more. Seven. Seven is good, I think. Now skip the first one. Insert into the next. Make a single crochet. Insert into the next. A single crochet, single crochet, I have six single crochets right now, chain one, turn, and starting from the first stitch, make single crochets, one, two, three, Four, five, six, chain one, turn, again make six single crochets, four, five, six. Just keep repeating, make it a little longer. I'll be back in a few minutes and give you the measurements. See you. I complete this one. It's Oops. seven centimeters, um, a little more than two and a half inch long. I'm gonna use this for the bow part so if you made here longer you can make this one longer too I totally made 12 rows now we will fold here just find the middle first It's here. That's the way we're gonna fold it. I'm gonna show you one more time.
you can use your hook or a needle it will be a little hard this time Touch it. I'm not using the specify, I'm just sewing them because we will not see here this part. Okay, check it if it's in the middle or not because the first time I made this one I made it wrong uh, this side was bigger I uh, made it uh, again I just fix it made it again then. so check it before you attach this one I think it's good. So I'm going to attach it here. And it's finished. I hope you like it too. If you like, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Sirin's Crochet is my Instagram address. You can reach me there. And it's also my Pinterest website, Etsy address too. That's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day. Bye.